so the eu has a couple of countries that the media likes to call tax havens let's call them tax advantage jurisdictions and generally speaking those are luxembourg malta the netherlands and ireland and the reason that they've been able to have these tax advantage laws and really they've flourished because of these tax advantage laws that they have is because the eu has not been able to impinge on their tax sovereignty as of yet and that is because in order to change tax rules in the eu you need unanimous member consent and this was intentionally agreed to when the eu agreement was signed so that countries could maintain their sovereignty and wouldn't have tax rules that were disadvantageous uh, to their country imposed upon them now this is obviously really frustrating the eu as a whole because they feel that these countries uh, have an unfair competitive advantage over other countries now i would certainly agree that they have a competitive advantage over other countries because tax is obviously a big consideration when you're structuring a business deal or operating a company uh, but instead of other countries thinking to themselves well maybe we should start making some tax ad advantage laws ourselves to help our businesses flourish and attract businesses rather than entrap them that's not what they're doing they of course want to put an end to countries who have uh, successful financial sectors um, but like i said the eu has been unable to stop these countries because of this unanimous consent requirement for the for the implementation of tax rules in the eu and so the eu uh, being frustrated by this unanimous consent which all members agreed to when they signed the agreement has been looking for a loophole in which they can go ahead and change the tax rules without unanimous consent which in my opinion is really shady and the strategy that they've now come up with is to invoke something um, under article 116 which is which applies when there is a disruption in the case of distortions to competition in the single eu market and if a rule is implemented under article 116 you don't have this unanimous consent requirement what i think is really hypocritical and, and quite frankly really pisses me off is the EU, the reason they, the reason they claim they want to change all of these tax rules is because companies have utilized the tax rules in a way that they weren't intended to be used and engaged in aggressive tax planning, um, and and you know utilizing loopholes and, and things like this, and now the EU wants to do the same thing so they can tax people more they want to do exactly what they've accused people of doing they want to use a loophole in the law to try to screw a couple of countries that have flourishing financial sectors and these are the only countries that in my view have kept the eu competitive because they have competitive tax laws and taxes at the end of the day are an expense like anything else and businesses are going to try to minimize it so the point of this video is the eu is shady and hypocritical they're going to do whatever they can uh, to stop any sort of tax advantaged structures within the eu uh, by hook or crook so the point that I wanted to get across in this video is, you know, the EU is getting really aggressive uh, against any sort of tax planning. They, you know, in, in the EU's opinion, taxes should not be a consideration in however you plan your business. Was this just asinine? So they're going to implement whatever laws they can to just try to tax the hell out of everybody as much as humanly possible. And I think that the fact that they're trying or that they're even considering 
trying to pass tax rules under Article 116, I mean, first of all, it's going to be highly litigated because, in my opinion, it's completely illegal. But it looks like they're going to attempt to do it. If the EU is willing to go to these lengths to tax people, then the only option is to get the hell out of the EU. I mean, I understand that for business purposes, not everybody can leave the EU. Uh, sometimes, you know, having companies and operations there is required. But I know a lot of people with structures uh, that are in the EU that they originally set up in the EU because they had some confidence in the laws of the country where these were set up and they had some confidence in the security of the EU. I think that has now been shaken and most of my clients with structures in the EU that have the ability to move them are looking at potentially doing that. And I would urge everybody to do the same thing as an asset protection move. I think keeping structures that don't need to be in the EU in the EU is, is very high risk. I mean, I think we've seen what's happened over the last few years, um, not only with taxes, but beneficial owner registers and everything else. Uh, there is an absolute war on wealth, and they will eventually find and tax your wealth if, if it is in the EU. Because at the end of the day, all of these beneficial owner registers and all this transparency nonsense, this has absolutely nothing to do with money laundering or anti-terrorist anything. This is all about just knowing where your assets are so that they can tax them more.